education isn't just about knowing the right answers. It's about knowing what questions to ask. What impact can our research have on reducing climate change? Why do humans need a supportive environment to show who they really are? How can we innovate to prepare our graduates for the industry of the future? Where can we make changes to enhance accessibility? When will we have a society based on inclusiveness and fairness? Who makes community? At the Technological University of the Shannon Midlands Midwest, we prepare students to ask the questions that will define the future success of our society. Across our six campuses of Clare Street and Moylesh in Limerick, Athlone, Clonmel, Turles and Ennis, we have the people, we have the passion and the technology that creates space for learning, where knowledge thrives. The future belongs to those who can find patterns and imagine a new way to apply traditional discipline. Our future leaders will have the empathy and the observational skills to see how the world works and how it could be better. They will ask what, they will ask why, where, when, who, how. This questioning spirit, this thirst for knowledge, this drive for innovation flows deep in our university. Tuse where knowledge flows deep. We are facing a challenging how to make the flexible packaging more sustainable. The potential impact of my work with the flexible packaging is to improve the waste management of those packagings and reduce the dependence from fossil resources. The new TU is a very exciting opportunity for me and for the other researchers in terms of increasing the collaboration with other lecturers with different expertise and also increase our research output and make us more recognized internationally speaking. The variety of students we have within the campus really does contribute to the magical element of students being able to feed off one another. We encourage that uniqueness and individuality. We are all inclusive here. All of the staff have come from the industry and continue to work within the industry, so we are very much aware of the demands of the industry. Therefore, our students are well equipped once they graduate. The new designation opens up possibilities of staff-student exchange. We are an excellent college and now we're really where we want to be. My final year project is a short film called Carvings. I used my village at home as kind of a lot of inspiration for it. I really like animation because I like the world and the universes that they give us and I want to be able to make my own. The staff have always been supportive to me over the years. They've always been really helpful and understanding. They want us to be the best kind of version of what we can be. The new designation of a technological university is really important. It brings credit to the students' hard work and it also brings in more faculty members who are able to support us creatively with their industry experience.
I am in the engineering business for more than 50 years. I set up Panlock Limited in 1986. I set up two plants in China, and we're currently setting up one in Malaysia. We have eight people that came through my leash, all doing engineering. We find it absolutely excellent. It's a great relationship that we've had for more than 10 years. Innovation is lifeblood of industry. We have many challenges facing industry. We have to reduce our costs. We have to reduce our carbon footprint. It won't happen unless you make it happen. The link with the, with the technological university accelerates that happening. Moving to university status gives it a lot more recognition internationally. It's great recognition from the area and for all the companies that use the graduates coming from there. So my areas of interest are strategic management and entrepreneurship. For my research thesis, I'm going looking at how small and medium-sized businesses can start planning for the long-term future in a post-COVID environment. The President's Bursary Award is an award given to students who are researching innovative topic ideas. The bursary is crucial to me because I would not have been able to access postgraduate studies. There are loads of facilities and resources available for postgraduate studies. Each postgraduate gets access to a desk where they can complete their own research, as well as access to funds to go and complete primary research and attend conferences. I see a huge increase in access to students to access postgraduate studies. They don't have to go to the big cities anymore. Perlis is a very busy town that has undergone a transformation in recent years. We have a very strong tradition of education. Having a university in Thurles adds to the status of our town. This campus has a proven track record of partnership with the community. The collaboration between the college and the Thurles Chamber of Commerce to build Thurles Chamber Enterprise Centre has delivered jobs into our town because the building the facilities are here for them to do so. This college has always been very responsive to the educational needs of the community. It was to the fore of rural development and renewable energy, and I'm certain that as a technological university, it will continue to help this college to grow and to expand and to go from strength to strength. Education isn't just about knowing the right answers. It's about knowing what questions to ask. What impact can our research have on reducing climate change? Why do humans need a supportive environment to show who they really are? How can we innovate to prepare our graduates for the industry of the future? Where can we make changes to enhance accessibility? When will we have a society based on inclusiveness and fairness? Who makes community? At the Technological University of the Shannon Midlands Midwest, we prepare students to ask the questions that will define the future success of our society. Across our six campuses of Clare Street and Moylish in Limerick, Athlone, Clonmel, Turles and Ennis, we have the people, we have the passion and the technology that creates space for learning, where knowledge thrives. The future belongs to those who can find patterns and imagine a new way to apply traditional disciplines. Our future leaders will have the empathy and the observational skills to see how the world works and how it could be better. They will ask what, they will ask why, where, when, who, how. This questioning spirit this thirst for knowledge, this drive for innovation flows deep in our university. 
Tus, where knowledge flows deep. We are facing a challenge how to make the flexible packaging more sustainable. The potential impact of my work with flexible packaging is to improve the waste management of those packagings and reduce the dependence from fossil resources. The new TU is a very exciting opportunity for me and for the other researchers in terms of increasing the collaboration with other lecturers with different expertise and also increase our research output and make us more recognized internationally speaking. The variety of students we have within the campus really does contribute to the magical element of students being able to feed off one another. We encourage that uniqueness and individuality. We are all inclusive here. All of the staff have come from the industry and continue to work within the industry, so we are very much aware of the demands of the industry. Therefore, our students are well equipped once they graduate. The new designation opens up possibilities of staff-student exchange. We are an excellent college and now we're really where we want to be. My final year project is a short film called Carvings. I used my village at home as kind of a lot of inspiration for it. I really like animation because I like the world and the universes that they give us, and I want to be able to make my own. The staff have always been supportive to me over the years. They've always been really helpful and understanding. They want us to be the best kind of version of what we can be. The new designation of a technological university is really important. It brings credit to the students' hard work and it also brings in more faculty members who are able to support us creatively with their industry experience.
graduates and your guests. Welcome to the conference ceremony for the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology at the Tusk Gaelic Grounds. We at the Technological University of the Shannon Midlands Midwest are delighted to be able to hold graduation ceremonies in person this year. Graduates, we appreciate the importance of this milestone in your life journey and that has filled us with determination to find the means to enable you and your guests to attend a physical ceremony to celebrate this momentous occasion. While we are not on campus, we are in a place that has special links to the Technological University and allows us to conduct today's ceremony in a safe manner. I am Marion Duggan, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Register at TUS Midwest and your MC for today's ceremony. Within the ceremony today, the formal conferring awards will be conducted by our president, Professor Vincent Gillan, and each graduate will be guided to the stage to collect a parchment from him. We ask that you take care as you make your way up and down from the stage, especially on the steps, but please enjoy the spotlight while on stage, as that will be your moment and you deserve it. For all our safety, please note that relevant COVID protocols are in place within the Gaelic grounds. This includes hand sanitization and compulsory mask wearing for everyone attending the ceremony. For each of the graduates, you would have found a face a tooth mask on your seat. We would be grateful if you could wear that mask during the course of today's ceremony. I draw your attention to the emergency exits. For those seated near the front, the emergency exits are to the left and to the right of the stage onto the pitch. For those seated in the middle and to the back, the relevant emergency exits are those by which you enter the Mackey stand. In the unlikely event of an incident that requires an evacuation, please follow the instruction of the stewards as you make your way out. I would remind you to turn off your mobile phone or alternatively place in silent mode. And if there's anyone at home who can't make it here today, let them know they can join us live at tus.ie. We would also love for you to share your special day on our social media channels, so don't forget to use the hashtag TUSGrad2021. So, without further ado, I ask the academic procession to commence to formally open this conference ceremony.
Please be seated. I will begin by introducing the members of the conferring panel to all present. Ms. Josephine Fennelly, Chairperson, Governing Body, Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands, Midwest. To her left, Professor Vincent Gannan, President, Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands, Midwest. To her right, Dr. Maura Clancy, Dean of Applied Sciences and Technology, Director of Progression Pathways. And to her far left, Dr. Lee Brown, Vice President, Research Development and Innovation. I will now call on Ms. Josephine Finley, Chairperson, Governing Body, Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands Midwest, to address you. Thank you, Marion. Good morning, everybody. Rinyushla Illig, Falcherov, Agasmurov, Evermudgeon. Is more on an ordum, Falcher Karoi Venu, can engage Shermanish Brunta Kema, decreed in the whole school of Technically at the Nua, Tus, Lord Chira, man near her. Can wrong Feha Fesa Hain, a Ahench is a Kelura, Co Gorgeous Gomor Liv Galair. Welcome, distinguished guests, and welcome especially to you the class of 2021, the inaugural graduates of TUS, the Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands, Midwest. Today, we recognize and we celebrate you. Congratulations to you all. It's my privilege. Excuse me. It's my privilege to be the first chair of the first governing body of TUS, which is Ireland's first trans-regional university, launched on October the 1st. Now, that's an awful lot of firsts, but I think the launch of TUS is a big deal. It was a significant day in the life of Ireland. Here, here. It was a significant day in the educational life of Ireland and in the regional development of the Midwest and Midlands regions. Designation as a technological university enables TUS to build on the formidable education heritage of its forebears, which can be traced back to 1852 in this city of Limerick. TUS is a new kind of university, which will enhance development across the Midlands and Midwest, with a consolidation of expertise to further strengthen its competitiveness and attractiveness to business. For example, the university has established research institutions that are currently working to help shape the future in areas including sustainable development, design, social and health sciences, artificial intelligence, materials, manufacturing, and pharmaceuticals. And TUS is also making an impact internationally. Even though it's Ireland's newest university, your alma mater has an educational footprint in 105 countries, and students and staff on our campuses hail from almost as many nations. Internationalism works both ways. It opens the world to our regions and opens our regions to the world. Last week, the inaugural General Assembly of RUN EU, a European university network in which TUS plays a leading role, was held here with 200 staff and students from partner institutions. Already our researchers are collaborating on European projects and our students can study in any of these institutions so that a TUS course of study can be completed in a truly international context. This past 18 months have posed, have posed unprecedented challenges. That the development of TUS largely occurred during the global pandemic is a credit to all concerned. And the challenge now is to consolidate and to grow TUS, to develop and to thrive while building on the ethos of supporting access to education, of responsiveness to business and to the communities where our six K-12 
campuses serve. There is a message in the fact that you're graduating in this unique location. It was chosen to safely facilitate the fullest possible participation of your community as you mark this milestone in your lives. We want you to be with your classmates. We want you to be with your families, with your friends, and with the staff who taught you. Because the last 18 months have also meant that you, our graduates, have faced unprecedented challenges. You've had your studies disrupted, not to mention your social lives. And if you decide to make up for lost time on the social front, can I ask you to do so carefully, please, for your own sakes? Your next steps, your life and your work choices, may have been impacted by the past 18 months. And perhaps some of those impacts will be for the better. I do hope so. You've had another change in your lives, which I hope you will view as positive. You signed up to study at an institute of technology, but today you graduate with an award from a technological university. You, the class of 2021, are and always will be the first ever to receive an award from TUS. And as the... And as the first graduates of TUS, I hope you will remain fiercely proud of your alma mater and work with us to advance the Midland and Midwest regions for all concerned. I have now lost a page. <laughs> anyway, effectively that was the end of my script. The second part of it was you should be fiercely proud of yourselves. You should be fiercely proud of the work you put in, of the resilience. Thank you very much, Ryan. <laughs> and see, I was on track. It took resilience. Resilience and hard work to achieve the success that you celebrate here today. Give yourselves a large pat on the back. Say thank you to those who supported you, your families, your friends, and your tutors. You know who they are. And I wish you every possible success in the next phase of your lives, wherever that may take you. Ko gorgeous arish garang fe hafe sa hain, bukhor yiv ave anav rodu l'er fad, guim gachra arav as sha ama kibay boher arau no ishiv. Ko ramil amahagav agas ganari liv galair. I now call on Dr. Maura Clancy, Dean of Applied Sciences and Technology, Director of Progression Pathways, to address you. Graduates, Chair, President, Registrar, academic staff, family, and guests. Good morning and welcome. Welcome to the first graduation ceremony for the newly formed Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology. You will be our first graduates, and we are fiercely proud of you. To help To help put into context what we are actually celebrating here today, I will use the words of American fashion designer Tori Birch. We may live in an age of instant messaging. We may live in an age of instant gratification and Instagram. But there is no way to short circuit the path to success. Of course, you know that. And today, as a recognition of your achievements, what you have worked for, you have earned the right to be here, and I offer you my heartiest congratulations. At any time, obtaining a degree is commendable. But given the last 20 months, 
I think you would all agree that on this occasion it means even more. It has been testing. It has changed us. But I want to say to you today, don't let it rob us. Every generation have had their character building challenges. This is yours. The strength, adaptability, innovation and determination you have shown will stand to you. You are the future. We will look to you to create, to problem solve, to invent, to lead. And you have already shown us that you won't let us down. There are many people who have helped you along the way and they will all be acknowledged throughout the ceremony. But as Dean, I would like to salute one group, and that is the academic staff. I know the lengths they go to. I know what they invest, their interest and enthusiasm, their dedication and care are central to getting you here today. On your behalf, I sincerely thank them. Please keep in touch. You will always be part of the TUS community. We will follow your careers with interest and pride. You're independent now. You are ready to begin the next phases of your life. I'll finish with the words of Albert Einstein. The value of a college degree is not the learning of many facts, but the training of the mind to think. Go forth and use those minds to great effect. Thank you. I now call our president, Professor Vincent Garan, to formally confer the awards of the Technological University of the Shannon Midlands Midwest are the graduates. Our kyon the old school technology actor the shona, our cheery eher lar, brunam dak nak tani, our hoglamori the old school technology actor. A tattoo Kagden Shin of Wanchamak. I was here and got in the Hoglan Murray Shin of Malahar, Kunabara Hover did, Div go formal. On behalf of the Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands Midwest, I hereby confer awards on the learners of the Technological University who have achieved the standard for those awards. And I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with their parchment. I now call on Dr. Maura Clancy, Dean of Applied Sciences and Technology, Director of Progression Pathways, to invite the President to commence the awarding of parchments. I now call on Pro President Professor Vincent Ganan to present the parchments and Dr. Janice O'Connell, Head of Department of Information Technology, to announce the graduates. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology. Department of Information Technology and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Computer Networks and Systems Management. And I request you to present their parchments to them. Robert O'Hearn in absentia. Victor Grigulski. <laughs> Connor Walsh in absentia.
President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours, Computer, Systems, uh, Computer Networks and Systems Management, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Emmett Bradley. <laughs> Christian Borhart. <laughs> You'll have a sore arm. <laughs> Gary Cunningham. Anthony Daly. <laughs> Joshua Flaherty. <laughs> Matthew Hunt. <laughs> Robert Carney. Stephen McNamara. Yeah, yeah, Mohammadi. Chris O'Brien. Mariano Gorman. Stephen O'Malley. Yaroslav Sakharov. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Computing and I request you to present their parchments to them. Martin Colclock in absentia. David Jackson in absentia. And Rajon Legas in absentia. Take a break. Take a break from the arm. <laughs> President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours in Games Design and Development and I request you to present their parchments to them. Thomas Jones. <laughs> Dylan Kerr. <laughs> Jordan O'Loughlin. <laughs> James O'Neill <laughs> Elijah Omotozo <laughs> Sylvester Schwed Diego Andres Toncalix in absentia. Stephen Tracy in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Internet Systems Development. And I request you to present their parchments to them. Shaad Abu Bakar in absentia. Pierce Griffin in absentia. Foyaz Ikram in absentia, Ross McInerney. <laughs> Patrick Moyles in absentia, Michal Rogal. <laughs> Boylois Tilak.
President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours in Internet Systems Development, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Vadsim Kanabalu. Evan Guerini. Garode Lynch. <laughs> Timothy Obidike. <laughs> Austin North in absentia. David Stapleton in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours in Interactive Digital Media, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Aaron Boyd. <laughs> Marek Chedmireski. <laughs> Owen Carney, in absentia. Puripat Meehan. <laughs> Niall O'Keefe. <laughs> Sandra Pissara. <laughs> Alejandro Sanchez Echevarria. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Shields <laughs> Keith Walsh President, I present to you the following candidate who has successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and is worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Multimedia Programming and Design. And I, I request you to present their parchment to them. Patrick O'Shea in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidate who has successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology and is worthy of the award of Bachelor of Business Honours in Office Management Systems and I request you to present her parchment to her. Leona Skehel in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Software Development and I request you to present their parchments to them. Alan Kendrick. Matthew Mulqueen in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours in Software Development. And I request you to present their parchments to them. Abdul Wasi al -Khil. Faran Ali Altaf. <laughs> Yevgenis Bogdanovic. <laughs> Mark Brommel, in absentia. Thomas Buenaviches. David Kerr. <laughs> Timothy Chin Kaiwan. <laughs> Sean Daly. <laughs> Rushi Devi.
Jamie Flanagan in absentia, Bethany Hanrahan. Mark Hester. Stephen Hickey. Alexandru Ipsalat. Patrick Kozaneski. <laughs> Andrew Lennox. Sean Lynn. William Mannix. Justin Matthew in absentia. Martin McGuinness. Michael McInerney. Christy Malloy in absentia. Simon O'Toole. Jonathan Roddy. Anna Sobishak. Thomas Studnicki in absentia. Jeff Van Dam. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and are worthy of the award of Higher Diploma in Science Software Development. And I request you to present their parchments to them. Sujata Chavan. Owen Conway in absentia, Kieran Doherty in absentia, Neve Egan in absentia, Gavin Foy, <laughs> Patricia Grady in absentia, Dovidas Colvitis in absentia, Francis Lamb. Darren Lonergan in absentia, Yasmin Martin in absentia, Lawrence McInerney in absentia, Samuel McMahon in absentia, Augusto Tashar in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidate who has successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and is worthy of the award of Master of Science by Research, and I request you to present their parchment to them. Eric McNamara in absentia. So that's the end of the graduation for the Department of IT. And on behalf of the department, I'd like to convey our heartfelt congratulations. And I'd like to wish you continued success into the future. And this is a stadium, and it's used to cheering. So I'd like you to tear the roof down and give yourself a final cheer and applause. So well done. Congratulations. <laughs>
who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Science and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Applied Biology, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Barty Bat. Rain Hola Katube. Alexander Chiswich. Ella Crean. Jekaterina Demenkova. Denise Doherty. Tom Doolan in absentia. Michaela Fitzgerald. Jamie Hearns. Aoife Kiley. Alan Koshi. Liam Loftus. Clara Madden. Patricia Mastro Donato. Ivelyn McGee. Sophia O'Donnell. Angelica Osinska. Amy Quinlisk. Shane Quinn. Aoife Roach. Zoe Roach. Sinead Ronan. Ludmilla Sev Jehovah. Robin Stanley. Carrie Ann Stewart. Alison Toomey. Amy Walsh. Evan Walsh. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours in Bioanalysis and Biotechnology, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Owen Bergen. Rebecca Bevan. Applause 
Paul Burns. Cleana Condon. Lance Conway. Michael Delahery. Holly Downs. Emma Foley. Chloe Fruin. Neve Hogan. Jessica Liddy. Sarah McKeown. Kean McNamara. Uh, President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and is worthy of the award Bachelor of Science Honours in Chemical Instrumentation and Analysis, and I request you to present her parchment to her. Magdalena Malarzik, in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and is worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Drug and Medicinal Product Analysis, and I request you to present her parchment to her. Denise Byrne. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours in Drug and Medicinal Product Analysis, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Bino Bijou Thomas. <laughs> Lauren Brazil. Felipe Canizares Ramirez. Grace Cusack. Jordan Daly. Emily Fitzgerald. Nathan Foynes. <laughs> Lindsay Hayes. <laughs> Tanya Ketwa. <laughs> Owen Clues. Ashling Leahy. Samuel Nelson. Lee Pacheco. Aaron Ralph. Michael Ryan in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates 
candidate who has successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Science and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and is worthy of the award Bachelor of Science in Environmental Management in Agriculture. And I request you to present his parchment to him. Mark Mullally in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award Bachelor of Science Honours in Environmental Management in Agriculture. And I request you to present their parchments to them. Leanne Gleeson. Shane O'Brien in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Environmental and Geographical Sciences, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Claude Hublard in absentia. Ellen McGrath. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours in Environmental and Geographical Sciences, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Austin Kamein, in absentia. Victoria de Cristoforo. Dara Hannafin. Finbar Hayes. Shane Kennedy in absentia. Raymond Nally in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical and Forensic Analysis. And I request you to present their parchments to them. Haley Christie in absentia. Bisong Eong Artem in absentia. Jack Kingston in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours in Forensic and Pharmaceutical Sciences, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Andrea Acasio. Aisha Akhtar Asha. Hussein Bazaz Zadigan. Aaron Brown. Sarah Carty. Dylan Cleary in absentia. Ashley Collins. Rory Cusack. James Deegan. Kira Erasmus. <laughs> Megan Fanning. <laughs> Kathleen Ferreira. <laughs> Michael Fitzgerald. Orna Foley. (laughs) 
Lynn Francis. Dara Gleason. Podrick Hassett. <laughs> Esther Hogan. <laughs> Carolina Kowalczyk. Kyle Stephen Mondero. <laughs> Ava O'Connor. <laughs> Joanne O'Gorman. <laughs> Owen O'Shea. Lauren Ryan. <laughs> Siobhan Toomey. <laughs> Elaine Walsh. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Science and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Adam Burke. <laughs> Olan Riwaju Julius Dario. Emma Duggan. Claire Frost. Owen Houlihan in absentia. Amy Carney Hogan. Ka Ho Ko. Roxana Kotwika in absentia. Rachel Linan. <laughs> Chloe Long. <laughs> Patrick Lorkowski. Denise Maloney in absentia. Gavin O'Keefe. <laughs> Magic Pisarek. Zarek. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Neve Powell in absentia. Jack Pryor. Shane Roach. James Smith. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Science Honours in Clinical Technology, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Alana Brosnan. Andrea Collins. Amy Comer. Rosemary Denton. <laughs> Christiana 
John Gosca. <laughs> Mikhail Zwiatka in absentia. Christopher Irwin. <laughs> Kira McMahon. <laughs> Elizabeth. Nitsi Mabando. <laughs> Dylan O'Sullivan. <laughs> A big congratulations and applause for the Applied Sciences graduates. Please. I now call on President Professor Vincent Ganan to present the parchments and Dr. Carl Glenn, Head of the Department of Applied Social Sciences, to announce the graduates. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to the Department of Applied Social Sciences graduation. On behalf of our department president, I present to you the following candidate who has successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences, and is worthy of the award of Bachelor of Arts in Community Development. And I request you to present his parchment to him. David Collins, in absentia. <clears throat> President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Arts Honours in Community Development, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Catherine Brosnan. <clears throat> Lydia Frawley. Melissa Hanrahan in absentia, Neve Malone, <laughs> Michael O'Loughlin, <laughs> Etha Ryan. Daria Tobin. <laughs> President, I present to you the following candidate who has successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences, and is worthy of the award of Bachelor of Arts in Applied Social Studies in Social Care, and I request you to present her parchment to her. Emanuela Klatt in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Arts in Social and Community Studies, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Grace Kiley, in absentia, Anne Lamb, in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidate who has successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences, and is worthy of the award of Bachelor of Arts Honours in Social and Community Studies. And I request you to present his parchment to him. William Dunn, in absentia. President, I present to you the following candidates. Thank you. Thank you. I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Arts in Social Care Work. And I request you to present their parchments to them. Paula Hearn.
Kevin Byrne in abstentia, Alva Crowley in abstentia, Maria Curtin. Chloe Dillon. Ajoko Fiati. Vicky Fitzgibbon. Catherine Flaherty. Charlotte Gajavi in Abstentia, Geraldine Gurure, thank you very much, Laura Higgins in Abstentia, Canera Keane, Connor Leahy in Abstentia, Selena Mattingly, Sarah McNamara in Abstentia, Jane Morris in Abstentia, Kelly O'Connor in Abstentia, Mark Pearl in Abstentia, Magella Ryan in Abstentia, Rebecca Starr in Abstentia, Korat Alain in Abstentia, and Sandra Fierchowska in Abstentia. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences, and are worthy of the award of Bachelor of Arts Honours in Social Care Work and I request you to present their parchments to them. Emma Austin. Andrew Alamer. Aileen Bamberger. Sharon Barr. Catherine Barry. Samantha Behan in Abstentia. Chloe Boland. Holly Booth. Louise Burke. Kira Broderick. Sarah Brohan Cotter. Emily Brown. Aideen Burke. Jasmine Burke. Adam Burnley. Tory Butler. Sarah Cantillon. <laughs> Catherine Cattle. <laughs> Siobhan Cattle.
Lee Cass. Paula Cleary. Elizabeth Colbert. Chloe Coleman. Trish Considine. Saoirse Corbett. Michelle Costello. Glanad Cummins. Shannon Curtis. Claude Doherty. Chloe Donnelly. Mary Donnelly. Anya Doyle. Susan Doyle in Abstentia. Ty Genright. Rachel Feary. <laughs> Louise Fitzpatrick. Fiona Flynn. Ty Jennery. Slavomira Golovla. <laughs> Celine Gary. Andrew Goff. Barry Green. Sophia Griffin. <laughs> Katie Haddock. <laughs> David Hanley. <laughs> Kirsty Hanley. Deborah Hartree. <laughs> Neve Holland. <laughs> Ada Yarosh. <laughs> Erica Keane. Megan Keane. <laughs> Anne Marie Kelly. <laughs> Eleanor Kiley. <laughs> Aubrey Kinsella. Aideen Lawler. <laughs> Kean Layton. <laughs> Kean Layton. 
Keely Lenehan. Alan Lewis. Katrina Maher. Kate Maher. Rachel Maher. Rosie Manju Afalabi. Fergus Marinan in Abstentia, Neve Martin. <laughs> Helen McCarthy. <laughs> Alison McCoy. Erin McGrath, Laura McGrath, Eva McNamara, Marie McNamara. Rhoda McNamara. <laughs> Searsha McNamara. <laughs> Dermot Mead in Abstentia. Patrick Meany. Rachel Meehan. Kate Minogue. Lauren Maloney. Nicole Moroni. Roisin Moyles. <laughs> Sinead Mullen. <laughs> Kate Mulqueen. <laughs> Rachel Mulqueen. Anna El Munda Fida <laughs> Emer Murphy in Abstentia, Sheila Nagel, <laughs> Jody Nevin. Eva O'Callaghan. <laughs> Tyg O'Connor. <laughs> Shauna O'Dwyer in Abstentia. Tori O'Grady. Pamela O'Malley. <laughs> Rob O'Neill in Abstentia, Jane O'Reilly. <laughs> Alex O'Sullivan. <laughs> oh. 
Kira O'Sullivan. <laughs> Maimuna Okechukwu Obikezi. <laughs> Michaela Patterson. <laughs> Chloe Power. Alison Quinn. Awesome. Holly Reed. <laughs> Matthew Russell. <laughs> Charlotte Ryan Doyle. Amy Ryan. <laughs> Megan Ryan. <laughs> Kelly Savage Spillan. <laughs> Owen Sexton. Denise Sheedy. Kate Slattery. Helen Slattery. Sarah Slattery. Shannon Stewart. <laughs> Ophelia Schmidt. <laughs> Calvin Walsh. <laughs> Stephen Webster. Rachel Woodfull. <laughs> President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences, and are worthy of the award of Master of Arts in Social Care Management. I request you to present their parchments to them. Maureen Ahizi. <laughs> Chioma Aj Egbu in absentia. Jason Craig. <laughs> Helena Donahue. Melanie Ferber. <laughs> Evelyn Glynn. <laughs> Rachel Irwin, in absentia. Grace Kelly, in absentia. Celine Kinsella. Linda Mullen. <laughs> Rose O'Dwyer in absentia. Karen Parks in absentia. Gavin Reedy in absentia. Christine Slattery. <laughs> Mary Lise Torrey.
Tanya Welch. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences, and are worthy of the award of Master of Arts by Research. I request you to present their parchments to them. Ger Boland. Joseph Hawk. <laughs> Evelyn Hill. <laughs> Sean Donal O'Shea. <laughs> Michelle Ryan. Congratulations and every best wish to all our graduates on behalf of the Department of Applied Social Sciences. We're delighted for you and proud of you. Thank you. We now come to the conferring of our Doctor of Philosophy Awards. I invite Dr. Lee Brown, Vice President, Research, Development and Innovation, to announce the graduates. The title of the thesis for our first postgraduate award of Doctor of Philosophy is mining of fungi in Irish habitats for industrially important enzymes and pharmaceutical compounds. I hereby call on the supervisors, Dr. Catherine Collins and Dr. Paddy Murray, to come forward to present Ms. Jaswinder Carr for conferring. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honour that I present you Ms. Jaswinder Carr, who has successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science in the Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands, Midwest, and is worthy of the award Doctor of Philosophy. President, I request you to present. President, I request you to present the parchment to the candidate. In exercise of the powers vested in it by statute, Quality and Qualifications Ireland has, on the recommendation of the Technological University of the Shannon Midlands Midwest conferred the award of Doctor of Philosophy and Ms. Jess, 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 Jess Winder Carr. <laughs> and it gives me great pleasure uh, to present you with your parchment and let me be the first to congratulate you, Dr. Jacinwer Carr. The title of the thesis for our second postgraduate award of Doctor of Philosophy is Can I Still Say Dad? An Exploration of Loss and Grief Experienced by Irish, Adult, Transgender Women and Their Families. I hereby call on the supervisors, 
Dr. Frank Houghton of Tooth, Dr. J Ms. Jennifer Morin Stritch of Tooth, and Dr. Amanda Haynes of UL to come forward to present Ms. Vanessa Lacey for conferring. So ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honour that I present to you Ms. Vanessa Lacey, who has successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Science in Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands Midwest, and is worthy of the award of Doctor of Philosophy. President, I request you to present the parchment to the candidate. In exercise of the powers vested in it by statute, Quality and Qualifications Ireland has, on the recommendation of the Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands Midwest, conferred the award of Doctor of Philosophy on Ms. Vanessa, Vanessa Lacey. It gives me much pleasure to present you with your parchment and let me be the first to congratulate you We now have the student of the year for the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology. And the award goes to Emma Foley, who completed a Bachelor of Science Honours in Bioanalysis and Biotechnology. Emma, if you could come forward to the stage to collect your award. I ask Ms. Josephine Fenley, Chairperson of the Governing Body, and Dr. Mara Clancy, Dean of Applied Sciences and Technology, to assist in the presentation of this award. Thank you all. Graduates, you've now received your parchment. The qualification you hold is something that no one can ever take away from you. You've earned its currency and you deserve the opportunities it will bring to you. I ask the conferring panel, academic staff and your guests to join me in a round of applause to congratulate you.
I now call on President Professor Vincent Ganad to address you. Just when you thought it was all over. <laughs> I called you to ask and don't arm the inch on you. I was by white lamb kid, Mila Falcha, a cur of Galair. Friends, I would like to extend a warm welcome to the conferring ceremony of the first graduate in class of the Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands Midwest, and to the graduates, your parents, your guardians, relations, partners, and friends. You're all very, very welcome. There's also, of course, an audience watching remotely around Ireland and around the world. And I would also like to welcome you. This is Ireland's first open-air graduation ceremony. What about a round of applause for that? Uh, so those of you at home... Uh, are missing out on this big event, and it's really not that cold, is it? <laughs> the Conferring of Academic Awards is the highlight of the academic calendar and a special occasion for our community, but this year is unique, and you, the class of 2021, will always occupy a particularly special place in the unfolding story of the Technological University of the Shannon. And I am so grateful to be able to stand up here today and to be able to hand you your parchment and congratulate you in person on your graduation day alongside the staff who have taught you. And the chair remarked in her speech that we deliberately chosen this location at the TUS, the Tooth Gaelic Grounds, and moved off campus for the first time for your graduation because we wanted you to have your friends, your family, and those who supported you on your journey here with you. Josephine also said that there was a message in that decision. And yes, indeed there is. Because it says something about this organization and how this technological university values you. We wanted to bring you all together one more time. And we were not afraid to create a new precedent in order to make that happen in a safe way. Because you are a unique class, and you have had an unprecedented experience of higher education. No graduate in class in the history of Irish higher education has seen more changes and more uncertainty than you have. Indeed, no other class has had to make the transition in the latter part of your studies from an on-campus college life to a virtual one. But you did it. You made it, and you're here today. So congratulations to each and every one of you. And we're here to recognize you, the class of 2021, and we wanted, because we wanted to do it, we had to get an entire stadium to do it in. And I'm so happy uh, to be able to stand here today. And also, I'd like to congratulate every single person who has made this dream become a reality. It was a huge project, but we did it. And we've been able to increase the number of family and friends who can attend by over 50%. And you have now become the class with the highest registration rate for your conferring ceremonies. So one more time, thank you for that and congratulations. And I think there's something in that, in those highest registration rates, because it reflects, I think, our collective hunger to reconnect and to get out into this new world. In fact, today and tomorrow, sorry, yesterday and today, I didn't change the script. <laughs> Yesterday and today, we'll see over 4,500 people attend these ceremonies in person, including you today, the graduates from the College uh, from the Faculty of Science, uh, Sciences and Technology. 
But no one here becomes a graduate on their own. We all rely on others. And so do the parents, the guardians, the spouses, and the families of the graduates. I also say, heartiest congratulations. You too are part of our community. But I'm sure there were days and times when you didn't think this day would ever come. But it did. And again, it has all happened. Now, in recognition of the role of those friends and family and guardians, etc., maybe the graduates yourselves could stand up, turn to your families, and give those families a well-deserved round of applause. Go on, up you get. Well done. I think that in your first few paychecks should go some way to uh, recompensing uh, everybody. Now you graduates, you're the first cohort of graduates since our series of lockdowns. And the latter part of your journey through college saw you face challenges which were unknown until their emergence. Your graduation is a further mark of your achievement and your resilience something that my colleagues and I wish to recognise and congratulate you on. But of course, with that experience comes responsibility. And you're no exception, because you, the class of 2021, with your unique experience, you bear a particular responsibility to apply your knowledge and that resilience to better our changing world. In recent times, we have seen the emergence of what is sometimes referred to as the pandemic of disinformation, the scourge of disinformation, the threat of disinformation, the ignoring of fact and the dismissal of those with expertise. And this has played out in many aspects of life and fueled by the ubiquity of online engagement. Your responsibility now is to stand independent and strong against this pandemic of disinformation. Just as you have prevailed through the COVID-19 pandemic, so you must prevail in this one. Because you have been taught to think critically. You have been taught to use facts. You have been taught to apply logic. You have proved your ability in this regard, and you have succeeded in adversity. You've actually benefited from this, and your example will benefit those around you. And it seems to me that you, the first graduates of TUS, the first post-lockdown graduates, the first graduates to emerge into the new reality, you have a unique role in our society. And specifically the responsibility I am now asking you to shoulder is this. Please use your ability to think critically and independently. Stick to the facts. Be confident. Own your own knowledge and act as an example of how perseverance and resilience can be informed by critical thinking and independence of thought. And I mean it. Now, the transformative power of education is in your hands. And just as you dealt with the challenges which were unknown until their emergence, so too our society will face further unknown challenges into the future. And I'm asking you, therefore, to use your experience and your education to make a difference, to make an impact on people's lives and on the world in which we all live. And during your studies, you have gained new knowledge, new skills, and learnt how to apply them in the true spirit of active learning, in labs and workshops, in studios or showcase exhibitions, in workplace experience or in-class case studies. You are now ready to take the next step. Be proud of your achievements and proud of becoming the first Technological University of the Shannon alumni because you have a major contribution to make to society. So the ambition 
of the Technological University is to impact our communities, to impact our region, and indeed to have a global impact through our knowledge creation and sharing. We want to lead the development of our region to sustain a virtuous cycle so that our students can study in our campuses and our graduates will live and work and raise families in our regions. We want to encourage inward investment in our regions, to strengthen our clusters in software and technology and smart manufacturing, professional services, medical technology, biopharmaceuticals and others. We want our university, our new type of university, a technological university at the centre of an evolving regional ecosystem. Because regional development will be at the core of the Technological University of the Shannon. It is not just a requirement of our foundational legislation, but a founding principle of TUS that is deeply embedded in our DNA. Our Technological University is about developing and enhancing our regions by working together collaboratively. It's about our stakeholders working in a symbiotic way to achieve shared goals. It's about developing and sustaining our collaborative, cross-cutting research and further enhancing our capacity to enrich civic, social and cultural engagement while providing all learners with new and essential access and pathways. And this all begins with you. And remember the very fact that you are graduating in a unique location today is the product of a partnership between the Technological University and a very large community-based organisation, the GAA. A lot of hard work has been brought about to make these graduations a reality. But that same partnership is also bringing about scholarships that will allow people to study with us who otherwise would not have been able to do so. This is our ethic made real. Now to the staff who have helped bring you to this day, I extend my deep thanks and appreciation. You too have had to adapt, to change, to overcome. And COVID challenged the education in a way none of us could have predicted. And yet, and yet we have graduates here today, knowledgeable and skilled because of you. And congratulations to you all one more time. But of course that process of change continues on a daily basis for the staff of the Technological University. As our journey, our new journey to create a Technological University goes on and on. But I very much look forward to that journey, that journey of ours together and to our transformation. Finally, to the graduates, I'm sure I speak for all my colleagues when I say that we have enjoyed your company in this community while you were a student, and that we now welcome your membership of the community, the inaugural community of TUS alumni. We will continue to watch your journey with great interest and great pride. As the Dean has said, I want to encourage you to stay in touch with each other and with us in the years to come. But first, let me congratulate you again on your successful studies. I wish you all the best for your future, both professionally and personally. We hope that you will return to visit and fondly remember your time spent with us. Congratulations from the heart to you all. And I hope you've had the time of your lives. Many thanks, President. This conferred ceremony is the second last of four held over two days in the Tusk Gaelic grounds. So I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to those heavily involved in arranging these ceremonies. First, to the faculty administrators who have ensured that the graduates were invited, seated, and in the right place at the right time to receive their parchments. To a core operating group 
who worked tirelessly in organising every aspect of the graduation ceremonies. Jimmy Brown, our VP for Capital Development and Corporate Affairs. The Gaelic Grounds is Jimmy's spiritual home, and like all of us, when we invite important guests into our home, he has worked hard to ensure the Gaelic Grounds has presented its best side out. To Elaine Healan and her team in the Estates Office, her catchphrase of, we can do that, has been so much appreciated over the last few weeks. To Diane White, when we talk about homes, the Gaelic Grounds has literally become Diane's homes for the last 10 days, during which she has managed to arrange for dusters and plugs, in equal measure, you might say, to be put in places where they have never been before in this venue. To Gavin Carney, your affable approach served to calm us all. Although at times I say you were screaming inside, you must be joking at the latest task assigned. Your contractors for constructing the stage, building the marquees and delivering audio and visual have been fantastic. As for the musicians, they have been superb in helping to create a celebratory atmosphere. To Claire Gallagher, you might meet Claire and her marketing team today as an abu for photos, but please be assured you will look good as they have done for us over the past two days. To Mary Nash, Idel Barrett and her band of volunteers, you've managed to bring to this off-campus venue our enduring trust value of friendliness and support. And last but not least, to Linda Barry. When Linda rang me a few weeks ago after visiting here as a possible venue for this year's graduation ceremonies, she said, we could do it, but it'll take a lot of hard work. Linda's normal to-do list for conferring ceremonies expanded threefold, but her attention to detail and enthusiasm never waned. So Linda, and I think everyone here will agree with me when I say, we did it. Please join me in showing your appreciation. Final comments to close today's ceremony. Please be advised that official photographers, Abel Andrews Photography, are available in the stand beyond the entrance to the marquee. I invite the graduates and their guests to avail of light refreshments behind the stand and out of the marquee. I thank the Woodland House Hotel in Adair for providing this hospitality. So final words to the graduates. Be bold enough to use your voice brave enough to listen to your heart and strong enough to live the life you've always imagined. I now request all those present to rise and stand for the academic procession to formally conclude this conferring ceremony. The academic procession will commence with the conferring panel, followed by the academic staff, and on this occasion I invite graduates to join the procession. I would ask that guests, guests remain in their places until the graduates have left the stadium. Garabahakat Akarda Agus Banantayam Athas Law.
Education isn't just about knowing the right answers. It's about knowing what questions to ask. What impact can our research have on reducing climate change? Why do humans need a supportive environment to show who they really are? How can we innovate to prepare our graduates for the industry of the future? Where can we make changes to enhance accessibility? When will we have a society based on inclusiveness and fairness? Who makes community? At the Technological University of the Shannon Midlands Midwest, we prepare students to ask the questions that will define the future success of our society. Across our six campuses of Clare Street and Moylish in Limerick, Athlone, Clonmel, Turles and Ennis, we have the people, we have the passion and the technology that creates space for learning, where knowledge thrives. The future belongs to those who can find patterns and imagine a new way to apply traditional disciplines. Our future leaders will have the empathy and the observational skills to see how the world works and how it could be better. They will ask what, they will ask why, where, when, who, how. This questioning spirit, this thirst for knowledge, this drive for innovation flows deep in our university. Tuse where knowledge flows deep. We are facing a challenge how to make the flexible packaging more sustainable. The potential impact of my work with the flexible packaging is to improve the waste management of those packagings and reduce the dependence from fossil resources. The new TU is a very exciting opportunity for me and for the other researchers in terms of increasing the collaboration with other lecturers with different expertise and also increase our research output and make us more recognized internationally speaking. The variety of students we have within the campus really does contribute to the magical element of students being able to feed off one another. We encourage that uniqueness and individuality. We are all inclusive here. All of the staff have come from the industry and continue to work within the industry, so we are very much aware of the demands of the industry. Therefore, our students are well equipped once they graduate. The new designation opens up possibilities of staff-student exchange. We are an excellent college and now we're really where we want to be. My final year project is a short film called Carvings. I used my village at home as kind of a lot of inspiration for it. I really like animation because I like the world and the universes that they give us and I want to be able to make my own. The staff have always been supportive to me over the years. They've always been really helpful and understanding. They want us to be the best kind of version of what we can be. The new designation of a technological university is really important. It brings credit to the students' hard work and it also brings in more faculty members who are able to support us creatively with their industry experience.
I am in the engineering business for more than 50 years. I set up Panlock Limited in 1986. I set up two plants in China, and we are currently setting up one in Malaysia. We have eight people that came through my leash, all doing engineering. We find it absolutely excellent. It's a great relationship that we've had for more than 10 years. Innovation is lifeblood of industry. We have many challenges facing industry. We have to reduce our costs. We have to reduce our carbon footprint. It won't happen unless you make it happen. The link with the, with the technological university accelerates that happening. Moving to university status gives it a lot more recognition internationally. It's great recognition from the area and for all the companies that use the graduates coming from there. So my areas of interest are strategic management and entrepreneurship. For my research thesis, I'm going looking at how small and medium-sized businesses can start planning for the long-term future in a post-COVID environment. The President's Bursary Award is an award given to students who are researching innovative topic ideas. The bursary is crucial to me because I would not have been able to access postgraduate studies. There are loads of facilities and resources available for postgraduate studies. Each postgraduate gets access to a desk where they can complete their own research, as well as access to funds to go and complete primary research and attend conferences. I see a huge increase in access to students to access postgraduate studies. They don't have to go to the big cities anymore. Perlis is a very busy town that has undergone a transformation in recent years. We have a very strong tradition of education. Having a university in Thurles adds to the status of our town. This campus has a proven track record of partnership with the community. The collaboration between the college and the Thurles Chamber of Commerce to build Thurles Chamber Enterprise Centre has delivered jobs into our town because the building the facilities are here for them to do so. This college has always been very responsive to the education needs of the community. It was to the fore of rural development and renewable energy, and I'm certain that as a technological university, it will continue to help this college to grow and to expand and to go from strength to strength. <laughs>